every unit, when you've unzipped the, uh, the, the file, when you've downloaded it from the uh, website, and you've unzipped the file, uh, let me just go back over here, right -o, and, oops, window compiled files, right -o, uh, I just want to go and show you the other one, right -o. as you will see, uh, when you've unzipped it, like unit 1 for instance, you'll be getting all these files over here. Now, every one of these files uh, contains the units as they are inside the uh, uh, the, the chapter. All right. Now, if you go to unit 1, for instance, let's go and look at unit 1. Uh, okay, I must also say that every unit comes with a workbook. Uh, there is a workbook with every unit. So, normally the workbook is included in unit 1, right? Like here. Here we've got the workbook included in unit 1. The workbook is actually uh, a, a Word document uh, based on A5 size. Uh, let me open it up over here and I'll show you the workbook. Oops, going to the wrong screen. But anyhow, I'll bring it back over to the right screen right now. Uh, right, oh, let's bring it over here. Here we are and let's increase the size of the screen. Right, now as you can see this is unit 1 saying hello and goodbye. <coughs> In this unit, you will learn how to greet in a formal and informal manner. You'll also learn about titles and how to use them. By the end of this unit, you will also be able to ask and answer, uh, how are you? So, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a grammar spot over here, where <coughs> you see all these blank spaces over here, is where the students must uh, read the screen as you are doing the unit. Uh, they must read the screen and fill in all the blank spaces over here. Uh, right, and as you can see, yeah, we've got some uh, <coughs> some contractions where the students must look at contractions. You can maybe explain to them what a contraction is, uh, and yeah, some commonly used com contractions. Also, some popular names between males and females, because in the uh, in Asia, there ain't really uh, specific names for 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 males and females. They just have any name for anybody. It doesn't matter. But anyhow. Thereafter, there are some movies they have to watch, and as they are watching the movies, they have to fill in all the blank spaces over here. Uh, these blank spaces, they will check the answers when they are playing the game, because they must use these answers to play the game. And if they didn't listen correctly and use the correct word, because uh, they must use the words in the box up here, uh, in the correct position, uh, they cannot score high points for their game. Uh, and they can record their game score over here, for which team... Uh, has got the most points. Now there are basically uh, eight conversations in total uh, in the basic unit and as you can see I'm just paging down here good morning good afternoon oh, and there's a couple of he's over there good evening uh, there's a load of them over here saying goodbye basic saying goodbye uh, and then of course saying hello and goodbye <coughs> of course once again there's some more uh, information over here for you to work over with them. Uh, we'll be going over onto the second unit over here. Sorry, this is the second unit, uh, right? The more advanced one where you've got uh, titles and you'll be talking about titles. You can teach them what is titles and when a title is used uh, because in Asia they are uh, very commonly to put a, a title with a first name. And uh, that is also a uh, no-no in English. You would normally put it with the uh, family name or the surname. And once again, some movies where they have to watch, fill in all the blank spaces. And uh, yes, and they play the game, they can fill in all those blank spaces and check the answer. Normally at the end of the game, when they finish this specific game, uh, the answers will be uh, displayed in red where they answered wrong and the blue where they answered correct. So you can go over the conversation and help them to uh, explain to them why or what, why did they answer incorrectly over there. And as you can see, there's a lot of these conversations over here. They'll be getting a lot of practice to do all of this here. And here they can check the answers. They can write all their scores down and see what was their average score and how did they do during the game. Uh, if you're going to play it individually, okay, it works nice because then that scores will be for the individual. But if you're working in teams that you've got a big class, uh, I normally have a remote mouse, which uh, I think I've explained it in one of the uh, setting up videos, which uh, the first student will click on the first word, he passes the mouse on to the next one, and he or she will click on the next word and so forth. They pass it down the row. Here are some articles to look at. Uh, they can learn to practice the vowel sounds, the constant sounds. 
uh, this, these, if and they, uh, they can practice that too as well uh, in what's this, where we're going on to what's this, they must learn to say uh, a book, it's a book, uh, it's a notebook, it's a camera, uh, for instance, yeah, like you'll see, I've got that one answer incorrectly over here, a book. Now, what I normally do, uh, you'll see everywhere I've made stupid little mistakes like this. The student that picks it up, I normally give that team an extra point. Uh, just, just to make sure they are concentrating on the screen. And when they do pick it up, uh, I thank him, give him his team an extra point. Just to make sure that they are awake. Uh, right, uh, then we've got a quiz that they can do, work over the quiz. After the quiz, uh, they can have some class work to do. Uh, this is a word search where they've got the uh, image and they must look at the image and find the word inside the word search. And then here at the end, we have got basic a basic conversation between two people. Uh, they can complete the conversation and uh, <coughs> work in teams. So one comp the guy or whoever the one partner completes one section, the other partner completes the other section. And then when that's all done, they can role play. They must practice the role play, and you can check how much they have learned and uh, how well they are pronouncing their words. Uh, that is basically the workbook. And the workbook is, as I've said, with every unit. The workbook is there. Uh, right, and so that is basically explanation on the workbook. You're welcome to change anything you want to change on it. It's an open word document. It's not locked or anything like that. So you can change anything you wish. Uh, this is on an A5 format. If you want to print it on an A4 format, uh, you can of course just change the format to A4 and rearrange things a little bit to suit you. Uh, I just find that the A5 works good because most notebooks in the Asian schools are all A5 size. So what I normally do is I print it, I print it out and they can stick it in uh, into their, their notebooks. Uh, I normally allow one page, open page on the back side so that they can uh, make notes uh, of things in the classroom. Uh, with that said, uh, that's about all about on the notebook and we will continue in the lesson next time. <laughs>